Hi, I'm Ken Toller, part of the account management team over here at HyperOffice. Account management is one of three departments including technical support and training that is dedicated to assisting our clients with their ongoing requirements. We've been listening to our clients' enhancement requests over the last few years and as a result, we have developed a new HyperOffice suite with a more modern, intuitive, and feature-rich design. These enhancements are based entirely on input that comes directly from our clients. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features and enhancements that transform HyperOffice into the solution that they've always dreamed of. Let's get started. As you can see, the shared calendar now boasts a very modern overlay design that can be quickly and easily manipulated to obtain just the right view of your schedule. You may notice that the color coding indicates where the calendar or group event exists. This was designed to give our clients that at-a-glance view of the company calendar on a single overlay. If you think that's cool, take a look at this. You can drag and drop events on the calendar to a different location to fit within your schedule in case something comes up. And with our new one-to-one -one calendar shares, you can share all of your calendar events with another individual such as a personal assistant. This feature will also allow you to create project calendars for teams. Using our new site publisher, you can even place these calendar events directly on your homepage. Simple customization is one of the major enhancements in the new HyperOffice. I'll show you all this later. First, let's jump into this client meeting and take a look at the event details. At a glance, we can see all of the information related to this meeting, including information that exists elsewhere in the portal. I'll click on this related task to view the details. From inside this view, I can easily see that the task is in progress, assigned to Mark, and is due in July. Since this task is part of a larger project, let's take a look at the project to get an idea of the full scope. Since it is already linked to this task, I'll just jump over and take a peek. So, this is the project screen. This specific task is related to the Net Results Client Setup project. From here, I can see all of the tasks related to this project and, at a glance, the details associated with each. I can even link to a document, contact, or anything else in HyperOffice directly from this page or set the task as a milestone. We can sort and filter information quickly at this level. I can even flatten my view to see all of the projects in all of the groups I am attached to. Using the new Find feature, we can easily locate a task or project based on a criteria set. Now we made some pretty significant updates to the way tasks are created. Much like the way we saw in the calendar section, task creation, including assignment, commenting, and linking functions are now streamlined. Want to see a high level view of this project? <laughs> You're going to love this. We are now looking at a summary of the entire project. Notice that I have a view of the percentage complete, the general description, but also the tasks that are overdue, a project GAN chart, and all linked items associated with this project. We find the email linking especially helpful at this phase. I'll show you our new email system in a minute. First, let's find the client and see what information we have in our portal about Jennifer. Inside this contacts profile, we have all the details we need, including custom fields, relevant categories, comments, and any items in HyperOffice that are associated with her, including emails and events. It appears that she is associated with the Customer Product Development Committee as well as the Standard Client Group. Let me show you how this works. With categories, we are able to segment our contacts without duplicating them. With a single click, we can jump back and forth between categories. If I don't remember a name, I can switch to the card view to get a visual of the contacts as well. I can even quickly add and remove information from this view on the fly. This will allow me to efficiently customize an export if I need to. From any of these views, I can see all of the information associated with these contacts, including events, tasks, emails, and documents. I will go into more detail on documents later in the video. Suppose I want to send Frank an email to congratulate him on his new account. I can do this directly from the contact section without losing my place. From this email compose screen, we get a peek into the new email system. From here, we can quickly attach files either locally or directly from the portal. If I want to copy my colleague or perhaps multiple people on this message, I can simply identify them from the contact attach screen.
Let's hop into the mail system and take a closer look. The thing that you will notice first is that you have the ability to drag and drop emails into folders. You can also quickly flag and select emails for follow-up. Instead of mail opening in a new window, you can open it within a tab inside the email system. This will reduce email clutter in your browser and help you manage your inbox. I received an email a while back regarding communication with new clients. I may need to brush up. This particular case may be better suited for the search function. With search, we can quickly locate emails that relate to customer communication. I mentioned earlier that the new site publisher allows us to customize group navigation. This function allows me to place this document directly on the home page of the client relations group, so now everyone can easily find it. I'll show you more about site publisher, but perhaps we should take a peek at the new document section first. Here is the client interaction best practices document. I can drag this document to another folder or even another group if I wish. In fact, I can jump to another group document section with a single click at any time. Notice here at the bottom of the screen, when I highlight this document, we see the associated details as well as version history and access permissions. With right click, I can set versioning and turn notifications on or off. I can even view the audit log, comments, and linked items. If I wanted to upload a document or series of documents, I have the ability to select all of them through the portal at once. Pretty cool, huh? Check this out too. If I want to search on this document in the future, the new search function has a full body document search. This means that when you search on a word, you can locate every instance of that word in every document. Okay, I promised that I would show you the new customization tools. Since these allow you to simply and easily customize the navigation and look of your portal, you can tailor it to your organization's image, branding, and functional needs. This may be the most powerful feature in the new version. This is an example of a fully branded site publisher page. As you see at the top, we have the company logo and some custom text to help users navigate. Below, you will see the calendar, task, and group modules. These modules populate information from the portal dynamically based on the user that is logged in. The links that you see on the top navigation point you to different sections in the portal such as links, contacts, or perhaps a document folder. Believe it or not, this would take the average user about 30 minutes to create in their portal. I know, I know, crazy, but let me explain. Since Site Publisher is built for a non-technical user, everything is drag and drop. As you see on the left palette, we have the ability to pull buttons, menus, images, and modules onto the canvas by selecting and dragging. Placing text on the canvas is done by simply dragging a text box over. Since it is just so easy to create custom pages, we encourage you to consider creating a custom page for each of your groups, especially if you have a client section worked into your portal. Thank you for joining us in this demonstration of the new HyperOffice Collaborative Suite. I hope you've enjoyed it, and remember, keep it simple.